Hey guys, so I just got my new stuff for my next semester of Integrative Health Sciences in and I was so excited about it that I thought I would make a video and show everyone all the stuff that I'm going to be learning this semester. Um, right now, I am currently doing Anatomy and Physiology 1 and I'm also doing Introduction to Nutrition. And those classes have been really fun. Um, but they're coming to a close and everybody knows that once you get about, you know, halfway through the semester, you're just kind of like burnt out on the subject, so to speak. But these are kind of bringing my excitement back because it's only like another month and we'll be on to the next step. So my next two classes are homeopathy. Um, I'm trying to think of the, yeah, okay. I was thinking maybe it said introduction to, but no. Um, it's energetic modalities to homeopathy and this other one is holistic pathophysiology. So let's look at the, the goodies that we got here. So I know my house is a mess. This table is just crazy. So I'm going to look at the homeopathic stuff because I'm really, really like there's a lot to look at here. So this is the book, Our University Always always Writes Their Own Textbooks with the Material. And it's just really good, um, I don't know, not all of it is super, super, super in-depth, um, especially depending on what level of class you're at. Um, and they only do this one homeopathy class, so I imagine they're going to do a lot more of the introductory stuff, but you can see... Like, there are the, um, they give you, like, the general intro stuff, and then they start going straight into the different remedies. So, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, um, you know, you get to the little bit more complex stuff with, like, the combined stuff. But look at this book, too. Um, this one's really good. They always add an extra bit of reading material. And I really like how this book is set up. I've never, I've never heard about it before now or this author or anything, but, um, it's, I, I love the setup. So it goes into like the, the different like potencies of the remedies and what it is and how to use it, all that fun stuff. And it's not just, it's not just like the, the surface level thing that you would normally get if you started looking into a certain type of therapy. It actually tells you like, no, this is like, we're going to talk about the, the meaning and define, you know, what life force means and how do you look for symptoms and how do you match it, you know, with, um, with where they're at in their illness and, you know, that kind of stuff. And then it goes into the different body systems. And so it's just really cool. Like, um, you know, the upper respiratory system and then, it will talk about, you know, what different, um, what various symptoms they could have or conditions. And then it tells you where you should start looking as far as remedies go for that. And then, of course, it talks a little bit more in detail about, you know, how these play a role with one another. And it's just really, really cool and in-depth. And I just love it. They even have heavy metal detoxing, vaccine detoxing, um, herpes. And then, of course, like, nausea, knee conditions, parasites, scar tissue. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff that they go through. And um, it's just really, really a good book. So I'm really excited about that. And then we almost always get a practical lab kit to play with. And I don't know until I'm in the classroom what those will be. But um, this is some of the stuff. So we have these uh, tincture bottles. So whatever we make up, we'll end up putting them in here. And then we have, like, the little droppers and then this is the cheesecloth, of course, if you ever made, um, if you ever make anything, you know you've got to strain the material from your um, concoction. So this is really high quality cheesecloth from the school. And I like, they gave us some, some merch. This is some little, little pins, Team ACHS and ACHS student. And then we all, we all know about St. John's Fort. Awesome for anxiety and depression, that sort of thing. Calendula flowers, um, very cooling in nature and uh, um, immune boosting. So these are some herbs from them and they, you know, they have the organic and certified or, um, organic and it tells you when they're harvested, which is 
super, super important because, um, if you're getting herbs from any place, they need to, they, you need to know exactly where, like what, what exactly the, um, that specific herb is and you need to know where it's coming from, when it was harvested, all that good stuff. You need to know all that information. So if you're buying stuff online, look for that information. So we have the practical lab kit and I don't know what we're going to do with it yet, but that's going to be fun. And then this was super, super cool. They actually sent, um, a, a kit from like the, one of the bigger homeopathic, uh, companies called Boron. I think that's how you pronounce it, or I call it Boron. But, um, it comes with, uh, this kit. So this is like some information about how to read the labels and, um, just like a quick guide of if you have these symptoms and then like, you know, uh, if you have allergies, look for these medications, you know, pretty easy, user-friendly, but this, it's, they're drawers where you can store all the remedies, and I just love that because, um, as, as you start, you know, exploring with how you're going to heal people, it's just really nice to have something like this on hand, um, which they did that with, whenever I did my aromatherapy class, they gave me a kit like this for all the different essential oil bottles, and I just love that they, they think ahead for that sort of thing. So um, it actually came with all this too. Um, so they only really focus on 6C and 30C, which are the two like lower doses. And after that, you get to like the 200s and up. And then they pretty much just tell you, yeah, you're not a homeopath, so don't really play with those. <laughs> but I put all the 30s on top for easier access because... Those tend to be the ones that are most often used, at least to start. And then I put the sixes on the bottom. Um, they're not really used as much, but not that they're not that they're unnecessary. But um, yeah, so I just decided to organize them like that. And they also came with these. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. But I've never seen them before, so I had to open it up. And it's um, for flu symptoms and. You know, these look very much like the standard bottles that you would get for homeopathic remedies, just on a much smaller scale. And if you can hear that sound, that's all the little, all the little pills in there. They have, um, like, they have different sizes of the remedies that you can take. So you'll have, like, a pillule that'll be, like, about this much around. And then, like, the granules, I think is what they're called. They get, like, that small or something. I think these are, you know, these are more like the granules. But yeah, I thought these were, these were really cool to have. Um, and then my holistic pathophysiology class. So let's look closer at this. I haven't looked at the textbook version of it yet. Um, so this is the one that the school writes. All the professors have to write. Um, so we talk about what is naturopathy, you know, um, if you've never heard of it, it, um, natural doctor basically and then it talks about all these different categories like inflammation and herbs that address that um and then we get to microbiology so you get homeopathy as as well and i i get to choose what classes i take pretty much as long as i'm not like taking a second course before i take the first one so i actually put these together because they complement each other really well and usually that helps me a lot, um, which is why I did anatomy and physiology and nutrition together because obviously they both tie into each other a lot. So it's pretty cool. They're actually addressing homeopathy specifically in here. And then you get, um, you know, more specific like for candida overgrowth and um, water and, you know, all that cool stuff. And then we have aromatherapy introductions, which I have, I've taken aromatherapy already. Elimination therapy, so like the diet and things like that. Yeah, so this, I, I'm just looking at this. This is probably going to be pretty simple for me because I've already um, taken it. But y'all, look. So this is the complimentary, one of the complimentary books that they sent. And, you know, of course this is what it is. I have flipped through this. Because look at how thick this monster is. They did such a thorough job with this book. And again, I really like the way that it's set up. Because um, 
they, I'm using one hand here, they, you know, of course, they talk to you about natural health and, you know, what it means to have good health and all this other stuff. But then they go just straight into all sorts of different, you know, celiac, cataracts, um, you know, the common cold, heart failure, Crohn's disease, diabetes, endometriosis, uh, food allergies, gallstones, strep throat, stroke, systemic lupus, um, vaginitis, varicose veins, literally so, so, so much that they, they cover in this book. And just, just look at all this beautiful information. I'm, I'm super excited. So, and then we have even more textbooks for this class. So I know this is going to be really information dense, I should say. Um, and this is really cool too, because, uh, I flipped, I flipped through this just a little bit. Um, oh, I'm sorry. If you have a weak stomach, I apologize for all that. But they talk about, like, the, the importance of acids, um, alkaline, you know, in the body and that sort of thing. And they also talk about other stuff uh, as far as, like, how your body responds to different stress. So, like, inflammation, for example, um, and what that means in the body and, like... Um, how it presents like in infections and that sort of thing and then you get to the more specific stuff like skin disorders and then muscular muscular skeletal system you know how that's affected the circulatory system the lymph um just you know all this really cool in-depth nervous system you know and then this is the study guide, <laughs> the workbook that goes with it. And the workbook that I have for, I, I have it for anatomy and physiology, but um, not for the other one. And this workbook looks a little bit more intimidating <laughs> than the one I'm used to messing with now because there's a lot of um, specificity, so to speak, which anatomy and physiology is a lot of memorization. So it's like, hey, you know, this body part is called this, and it's here in the body. Um, whereas this, you know, obviously there is some of that aspect to it, but as you can see, like, you're not just answering a false, you know, true-false kind of situation. It's like, hey, define what this term is, and then identify what these factors are for this, and what is the treatment for it. I mean, it really goes in depth. So I thought someone else would... uh find this interesting and then especially because um this is like my career that I'm going toward and um that sort of thing I I thought it would be great to just let you guys in on what I'm learning and what that looks like um my school is very very involved oh I forgot about this um there I have a practical lab kit for this class as well in the pathophysiology and these are actually a little bit more exciting um, so we have all these different oils, um, so this is sweet fennel, looks like lavender, I don't really want to take it out of the bag yet, because I'm not in the class, and I don't want to get everything strewn everywhere. I know there's some sweet almond oil as well, yeah, so there's lots of good stuff in there. But, uh, astragalus root, very great for boosting the immune system, and works a lot on the nerves. Um, licorice root. This is always like the balancing herb that you put into your different formulations that you're making for a client because it's just, it's just a great stabilizer, so to speak, and also great for boosting your immune system. And then cinnamon bark. So, uh, this isn't really talked about as much. I mean, we know cinnamon is beneficial for your health, but, um, as far as like for an actual remedy, you don't really hear about it as much as you might something else more mainstream so to speak so I think that's pretty cool and I'm I'm curious what they're gonna have us do with it all so yeah um I thought y'all would enjoy seeing how I'm learning what I'm learning and and kind of take y'all on the journey with me so I'm super super excited and I hope y'all have a blessed day